Hello, everyone, and welcome to this fantasy draft edition of Dish with Pepper. I'm Pepper Persley here with my family, and by family, I do mean Columbia Athletics all-time great Camille Zimmerman, as well as my wonderful parents. We are all a part of a four-team fantasy women's basketball league for this WNBA season, and we'll be drafting today. And I personally am very excited about this, um, because as much as I love covering the WNBA, I am truly a fan, and I'm so excited that they've broadened um, the WNBA and fans because now that there is a fantasy women's basketball so very excited to be able to be a part of this today all right Camille any thoughts before we get into the draft I'm, I'm just as excited as you are I did my first fantasy league this year for the NFL and it like totally changed the way that you watch the game. You get a lot more invested in the players and how everything's working. So, I mean, I already watched the game, but I'm excited to have like a team that I have to follow. And, you know, it, it just helps you like really get invested into the game. Yeah, for sure. And it's really fascinating too, just like the way they do the points and the scoring. And as you said, a different way to be able to watch the game, which is always good to broaden your knowledge of basketball. Um, yeah. So super excited. Our draft starts in about three minutes and 45 seconds. So there's definitely some excitement. Um, and so just so everybody knows, uh, my dad has the first pick. I have the second pick. My mom has the third pick and Camille with the last pick. So that's the order for the first round. Um, and we, I, we did start small with this league today, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to broaden it and have more teams, as many people as possible. Um, we just wanted to try it out this year with some people, um, with family. So it's going to be very exciting. I have a feeling we're going for the same person in the first round. <laughs> Probably. We'll I mean, there's only one. I mean, there is. I'm a, just going to say that I am not hiding who I'm going to pick with my first selection by wearing uh Seattle Storm this. jacket. That's right. <laughs> I plan on selecting Stewie with my, my, with the number one pick. I will say though, that I am not usually someone who likes to have the number one pick in one of these drafts. Cause I, I kind of like not having the pressure of, I like having a, a, at least a person or two selected ahead. So then I don't have as, as hard a decision, but um I think I, I I think I have to go with uh with Stewie, so it's not going to be a surprise. <laughs> no, but there are uh, of course amazing players in this draft, so plenty of options and plenty of um, different ways we could all have great teams here. Yeah, I I was kind of excited that it's just four people because then you can just all of us will have the star stacked roster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when yeah, it, gets, when it gets too totally. big, you're like, oh, I can only have one like elite, elite player. And then you gotta know. But it, I, guess but I mean, there's too, four different people gotta... and the first four players, Tina Charles, Stewie, John claude Jones, Sylvia Fowles, and you really can't go wrong. Exactly. That's true. I mean, you can, if something <laughs> unfortunately happens, which, yes. you know, is part like, of the game. That would be but... awful, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm certainly not wishing that. I'm wishing tremendous health to everybody and yeah. let just let the stats do the talking. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. All right. Oh. So the draft starts in about one minute. So and getting we have close. everybody here. So I'm yes. going to go ahead and share the screen. So you all will be able sure to watch have... along with the drafts um, so you can see everything that's happening. And I will be asking questions of people after their draft, their drafts, um, so we can get an inside look on their decision, which should be a lot of fun. Okay, I think, I think we're in. 30 seconds. Ah, so exciting. And 
yeah, I, 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 if you're wondering why I'm, I'm going with Stewie over, over uh, Tina, it, it's just, um, I just feel like she can, all, she also has the, the chance to get some, some bonus points via her defense. So I mm. kind of like that. Same all right. She's a little bit more versatile. So, okay. All right. I am selecting first. There you go. Stewie's my number one pick. All right. All right. So Pepper, I love now. Pepper, who are you going with? I mean, they did project your number one. All right. Team Charles off the board. Seems like I'm doing all the work here, Pep. Come on. <laughs> all right. Get back. So my mom has her pick up. Uh, we'll see what she decides in a second, and then I'll ask her about it. Who's still on the board, Pep? Um, oh, John Cole Jones off the board. Tell it's, me about that pick. Yeah, it's hard not to take uh, JJ after her MVP season last year. And I think she's That's what I wanted. She can do all the <laughs> she can do all the things. Um, and so I look forward to big, big numbers from her in, in the season. Now, right. I have to say, um, not the one thing that that Camille has that none of us have is experience actually oh, that's right yeah. playing with <laughs> sylvia fouls so and i got the double is, pick right here right yeah i was yeah, like do. Hey, who do i take phil or asia yes, but i can take them both so this that's is great. right so can you just tell us a little bit about sylvia fouls why you uh you know what, what was it like to um to yeah, because Camille was at at uh, uh, man, training camp with uh, probably yeah. the probably the, the most elite player I have ever played against. Like it was crazy on my first day. They were doing a workout for Phil, and they had three rookies try to guard her at the same time, and the coach like with the pad, and she was still just getting a bucket every time. And I was just like, <laughs> how crazy this drill is. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just blew my mind. I was like, wow, this oh, girl wow. is really, really good. All right. So the top four we still have on the board, Skylar Diggins-Smith, Dewana Bonner, Candace Parker, and Natasha Howard. So we'll see what happens with these next four picks. I am going to maybe shake it up a little bit here because this person, had she been healthy and playing, is probably – at the top of this list, and I'm gonna just believe she's gonna stay healthy and take it. And uh, you're gonna really three. upset me yeah. because uh, that's I'm gonna take, take her too. Thanks. And for I'm gonna take me. EDD there. I'm gonna go go a little deep in the line because that's not really. That's just because she's been out. So I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna believe okay. she's gonna stay healthy, and and I I went with EDD there. That was definitely who I was gonna pick. So thank you. Mm, no problem. All right, Pat. Pat. What, what do you what do you, which direction are you going now? Um. I'm debating it, but I do already have a big, so I'm going to go for a wonderful guard in Skylar Diggins Smith. Okay. All right. To All right me and with, now you're with up. Two. I am going to go with one of the other people and then shake it up just a little bit. Um, I'm going to, I, I have to, to represent my hometown squad, the New York Liberty. So I am going to take another forward in. Stewie's former teammate and hopefully future teammate, oh Natasha God. Howard. And then I am going to, I, I this is a, this is a tough one. I, I, I really do feel like I have to, I've talked about this person being one of my favorite players in the W, if not my favorite player to watch in the W, especially when she gets going. But then there's also I also have an uh, the opportunity to take another another person on, on my hometown Liberty. So who do I go with? I think I have decisions. to go. I think I do have to go with Jewel Lloyd. Oh, come on, as my my first. Just so guard. everybody knows. Like, my dad is constantly talking about how I can look at Jewel Lloyd for, like, my shot and my form. So, I definitely get that a lot. And she is amazing to watch. Um, all she right. I think I'm going sad. to go with a member of last season's uh, championship team in Candace Parker. Oh. 
I am up. Is that me? Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Well, our, our have, host keeps forgetting that she's hosting. I've had two forwards. I'm going to take a guard. Hmm. Can't always, you know, this person is super exciting to watch. There's no doubt about it. I know so, who that is. Uh, Arike is on my team. Arike. All right. That I feel like I keep pick. stealing Camille's picks. I'm sorry. I, well, I mean, everyone is because they're just taking the top, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I really wanted Arike though. She's uh, so. gonna be very interesting. We'll see uh in fantasy because of how the point system works. I think she will get a lot of that, which is gonna be really great for your team now, Mama. Thank you. Okay, okay. It's tricky. I might be going down the list, but I have high hopes for this one. I'm gonna take Copper. Though mm-hmm. she is out for overseas right now, mm-hmm. but you know, when she's back, she just came off an MVP Euro League yeah. season. So, mm-hmm. and championship, she's going to be good. Yeah. Um, Camille, right. I, she was definitely on, on my radar as well. So, mm-hmm. I'm a little jealous. I mean, this is tough. I really want to take Tarazi because she's just my favorite all time player, but I don't know if she's going to be healthy all season. Mm-hmm. Tough one. Yeah. Uh, that is tough. I'm going to go with, oh, this is tough, Cam Beige. Mm, yep, I think I'm going to do it. Now I got a, a big lineup down there. Yeah, it is a big lineup. <laughs> yeah. Liz Cam Beige, she's a big fan of, of Pepper. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's awesome. I really, it's been really great to be able to talk to her. I remember, um, I was at a New York Liberty game and uh, I was able to see her and she like bent down so we could be face to face. And I think like I always remember the people who do that because looking up at people is quite intimidating. And I know it sounds kind of <laughs> silly, but I feel like always the people who just bend down to be able to like see the world for what it's like for me, like, I don't know, that's always really special. And she's been great to talk to ever since I've been a journalist covering the WNBA for the the past couple of seasons so yeah I love hey, her Janelle who are you going with here yeah I'm torn actually between you don't have much time I know I know okay 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 so I took Sludy as oh, my PG come on, oh, come on. <laughs> and I know <laughs> I live in New York that may be a little unpopular because Sabrina's there higher on the draft board I'm no, just going to take that, but you I know what? You gave me. I think she idea. needs she needs a little time under her belt, um, Sabrina. That is, and I went with the the veteran, solid right. champion, champion. Yeah. All right, I'm going to. All mix right, it what up are you thinking bit. for this pick here? I'm, I'm going to mix it up a little two, bit. These two back to back. I am. Um, I'm going to. I'm actually going to select two people who are uh, very supportive of the things that you do, Pep. Um, and I'm going to go in this order, in the order in which they appear. I'm, I am going to draft Benaja, um, who I just think is, is not only a wonderful player and, and a great story in the league, but also just a really nice person. Um, yeah recently and gives um, her time but my second pick in in a row here is ariel atkins um so i can kind of fill out my starting lineup a little bit and i'm gonna go i'm gonna go that route and see and see how that goes for me All all right. right back to you pep all right i'm gonna go for maisha heinz allen oh yes you know I'm a big fan of hers. Yeah, you can never go wrong. She's a really great athlete and a great player. Oh, guys. Okay. Um, what are you going to do here? You still have number seven. No one's taken Dewana Bonner. I am. She's also a bit of a walking bucket when she wants to be. So I just. That's fair. And she hits threes. You get those extra points. Going with Bonner. Uh-huh. That's a good point. Great. Hmm. Thanks for that. Okay, there's my, I guess, starting five, as it were. Oh, I might get to take Tarazi after all. 
you know what? I'm gonna just go for it. You can't you can't deny a walking bucket. That's true. true. That's true. All right. What are you gonna do for your second pick in a row? Okay. All right. So we have oh I can have a utility player. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking either Kennedy Carter or Kelsey Mitchell. Mm-hmm. Uh, they both had pretty good. Well, Kelsey Mitchell had pretty good season last year. I'm curious if, uh, if uh, Carter Carter is going to start. Yeah. So I was just thinking, I was like, oh, okay. I remember how last season ended. She might um, just be I'm going to go with uh, Mitchell. Six person on the with Mitchell. She's been coming in her own lately. So, and yeah. I have higher hopes for the fever this year. So maybe that'll be good they can't, for her. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't imagine that. They, they can't be, they won't be better this year. Yeah, you don't think so? The influx of, of young talent, and I think they that's, got a lot of scrappy yeah, folks. Cool. They're gonna, they're well, gonna, they're, they're 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 still be better. relied on heavily. <laughs> yes. And then, oh, one of mommy's favorites, Emma Miesemann. Pick Emma Miesemann. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that was a good pick. Nice. All right, who am I gonna go for? I think I'm gonna take Kennedy Carter, who you were debating. Okay. About. All right, me with the back to back again. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wish I had one of those. Okay. I I do feel like I, I have to pick. I'm so I'm kind of torn here because I I've, I've been debating between when I've done some of these mock drafts. Um, Turner and and Neca. Um, well, you I'm could take gonna both. Mix it up, but I'm actually going to mix it up a little bit, mm-hmm. and I'm going to take Tierra McCowan, who will get who will get some 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 important. My God, no, for, for uh, <laughs> I hope nobody can wings. see you. That was not. And kind. then and then my other pick. Um, That's I, her I've signature. Just, Sorry, she does that. That is true. She does. Um, I want to. Giving... I, I want to take a, a, a chance on uh, on Neca, but I, I do think I want to make sure that I have have some some guards as well. So I'm going to go with Erica Wheeler here. One of the great best stories in the league. Yeah, she has a great story. Yes. All right, if you're not going to take Neca, then I will because I do have three yeah. guards already, so I can go for that. I just feel like I'm I'm very very uh, forward driven. Like even my utility right now, is, so I got to get some guards. But I have Same. I have I have I have uh, one more in mind, though, Pep. I have the oh, same. Look, we, we have a rookie at the top now. <laughs> yeah, we have a rookie at the top, but I have like forwards galore. So I get some I'm guards. Gonna take another rookie. Oh, I like that. Ryan I like Howard. that. It's always good to, to go with one of the rookies at, at this point because you just never know, quite know what they're going to be able to, oh, to do. It's worth it. It's worth it. Mm, man, it's hard to pick a rookie because I think it's really hard for the WNBA to be successful your rookie year. But we just talked about Indiana, so Smith is going to get a lot of playing time. That is a lot true. of experience out there. Ah, uh, that's tough. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, I totally allowed trading of picks, and I don't think any of oh, us have done that. I don't great. even know how to do Didn't that. Didn't even think but, about that. Yeah. yeah, that's too hard. All right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a rookie. All right, quick question. By any chance, yes. uh, would you be willing to trade Stewie for anything? Just curious. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can have a conversation about that. Okay, okay. We'll talk All about right. it. All right, maybe after the draft we can have a conversation. Mm-hmm. It's so hard not to take someone that's at the top, but somebody I mm-hmm. want a little lower down. Mm-hmm. But it's a new year. You never know what could happen. I know. Sure. Uh, I really want Brianna Jones because she came off the most improved and did really well in playoffs. That would be a great pick. Uh, I like her. I like her a lot. Another great story about. There's so many great I, stories I got in the to WBA. Meet her in three That's on true. three, and she's very nice. <laughs> That's awesome! Like, wow, so sweet. I 
Um, now it's getting a little tough, hey? Where yeah. I'm on the clock. I probably should take another guard. Mm-hmm. I'll try not to step on any toes here because I know Uh-oh. where the hearts of where the hearts of my people are. You uh, better I know not. What, I know what, you I know better what you're not. about to do here. You better not. You better not. <laughs> I, 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 I'm pretty certain you've taken somebody that. that Don't do we it. Have, Don't do we it. Have been fans of for Don't do it. quite some time. But I'm That's not. Literally, I'm not. my pick. I'm gonna oh, keep them together. Oh, she did it. Thank you. Okay. Well, Pep, if, if you don't, I didn't if you do don't, it. I will. Just so you know. He's taken. All right, KP. Why don't you talk okay. a little bit about KP? All right. So and your I connection have for the fans. loved uh, watching Kelsey Plum since when she was in college, and I couldn't get one of her jerseys, so I took a white T-shirt and. Uh, we put Huskies on it and I wore that like so much, honestly, until it came off in the wash. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> so honestly, like I've been a big fan of hers and, uh, you had her on your birthday I, cake. Yeah. She like, I had her face on my birthday cake and a lot of my friends were like, what? But you know, not the world to me. Um, And when I was actually first able to meet her, I was at a New York Liberty game and she was injured, but uh, just sitting over at the bench in a boot. And there was a security guard um, at the garden who actually was the reason I was able to meet her, which like, I don't even know where like he is right now, but if you're watching this, he's still working there. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, But so I was able to go over her to her and I had a sign and I talked to her. She gave me advice to work hard, listen to your parents and always have fun. So, and my How are you parents, doing on that? Listening to your parents. Oh part. my God. I see. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to gonna, gonna transition to say that I'm going to take her teammate. That's my last pick. All right. So this is my last pick. And I'm going to go with Mo Bills, who is another person who has been a great supporter of my work. And I always really appreciate that. All right. So last two picks of our draft. Very exciting. I can't even right. see. We can't see any picks. Of people yeah, we can't right see now. any of players yet. Oh, left. um, hmm. so. I'm going to I'm going to go with this is tough. There's always a great player and there's a legend always a great Stubert. player. I'm gonna go. There's she's Stubert. still available. I'm gonna go with Diamond. Oh, ah, Diamond to Shields. I like that. Great Diamond to nice. Shields, the first person on your. Uh, yeah, she's she the first next person podcast. I interviewed for she got next. That was yeah. she was great. Yeah. All right, last pick of the draft, Camille. Yeah. What are I'm we home. looking at here? Who are you gonna take? Last but certainly not least. It seems crazy Let's to just look. leave Sue Bird out there. It does. Uh, and Kayla McBride had a good season uh, overseas as well. I need a guard for sure. I think I'm between those two. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is tough. You can have oh, the man. Bird, Bird and Tarazi show on, on your team? Oh, I could. Yeah, that it could be really that good or really a, bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, be man, just for that, I think I have to do it. You're right. All right. <laughs> All right. That's it. Okay, everybody, let's just go ahead right, and share our teams so everybody knows who we have. All right. So my team. Okay. So we, you know what we can we can also do is just put up. We can we can put that up for everyone to see, so we don't have to, oh, yeah, yeah. to actually we can just put do up that. Uh, Saves us um, a little time. All right, yeah. let's just – I'm very happy with my team, um, and I hope everybody else is. But this is going to definitely be a very fun fantasy league. And I believe I play Camille in week one, Ooh. and uh, uh, my parents play each other. So that should be interesting. All right. Yes. Yeah, it, it, it will be interesting. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> All right. I'm excited about this. I'm excited that there is finally a a, a fantasy women's basketball. Um, it's something that I know that I, I have wanted even longer 
yeah. then um then then Pep's been interested in, in in all of this. So I'm happy about that. I'm glad yeah. that you're now growing up in you know in a in a world that that has this and, and has more opportunities like this. So this is great. Um I think this is so cool to to be able to to do this with with all of you. So I'm excited about that. Camille yeah. is is a de facto member of our family at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, whether you like it or not, you're in. <laughs> Uh, no I appreciate it uh it's so great all right this is uh I also would love to add I know I haven't been um as a fan or of the WNBA as long as you have been um and even like knowledgeable about fantasy sports in general but I think anything that is that can grow the WNBA is really important. Mm -hmm. And I did talk to um, some WNBA players about that. And they all said anything that grows the game is really important. And I'm so glad that the four of us are able to have our league and do our part in supporting the WNBA. This is going to be an awesome time. And of course, everybody watching, um, we will be keeping you all posted on what happens in our league. So stay tuned for that as well. It's going to be very exciting. 